and ties, I welcome you to our service of remembrance. One hundred years to this hour, the guns fell silent. The Royal British Legion are keen for us to remember today the sacrifices of that whole generation. Those fighting at the front, but also the civilian populations. The women working in the factories and farms. I'll be able to be congratulated for their campaign, Every Man Remembered. Over the past four years, they've turned up at my church and others at intermittent intervals, laying poppies, presenting stories of each casualty. Can we also spare a moment to remember our friends in Germany, particularly in our twin town of Stettanto? They have lost the same generations, but do not have the opportunity to remember with pride the achievements that came from their sacrifice. As Frodo, in Tolkien's Lord of the Rings said, I wish it had not happened in my time. Gandalf replied, so do I, and so, so do all who live to see such times. But it's not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us. Hopefully, we will never know if we could make those sacrifices the previous generations made for our benefit. We can only show our thanks by living lives that are worthy of the sacrifices they made for us. Private B. Bond Eastwindle. Private Alfred Tasker. 
Sydney G. Smith, Stoke First Class, William J. Newby, Cyril J. Radford, Guardsman, William D. Reynolds, Air Class First Class, Alfred J. Rule, Singular Charles E. Masters, Long Sergeant Frederick W. Manson, Private Frederick Metcalf, Private George J. A. Lancaster, Sister Iris H. May, Father Frank Masterson. They shall grow not old, as we the left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the great dawn of the sun, and in the morning, we will deliver them. We will deliver them. Give us our trespasses, and we forgive those 
and trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, our Father, we pledge ourselves to serve thee and all mankind in the cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the praise of thy name. Guide us by thy Spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, give us hope, and keep us faithful now 